Did you know that you are more likely to enjoy a TV show if it's based on something that you don't have? With that said, I want to talk about one of my favorite TV shows. Hi, uh, can I get one ticket for the movie? Yeah, of course. Which one? The movie. Oh, okay. Um, are you dumb on purpose? No. Then which movie do you want to see? The movie! Right there! I asked you which one did you want to see? This one or this one? The movie too. Are you dumb on purpose? Oh! Okay. Um, well, you know what? Fuck you. Excuse me? Fuck you. The prequel to the movie. Fuck you, I excuse me. The sequel to the prequel to the movie. I'm sorry, but your father's no longer with us. Oh no, he's at a different hospital. Oh, thank God. I don't know how much longer he has. What? In the hospital. They're gonna move him to a different one. Oh, okay. He's super ill. What do you mean? Like he's dope. Like he's like super chill. Oh, for sure, yeah, he's super cool. Yeah, he's gonna die. Hey look, that cloud looks like a freaking potato. Hey look, that guy looks like a fucking loser. Come on. Hey, are you, are you okay? Um, my doc died. Ah, oh, fuck, this is awkward. Like, what do I say? Fuck, I'm so sorry, or that must be so hard for you? Fuck, I'm so hard for you. God, what the fuck? Top six ways to tell your friend you're in love with them. Number one, take him for a drive. This way, the setting is just you and him, and the intimacy is at an all-time high. What's, what's going on? Ask him to create something with you, whether it's a video, a TikTok, a song, any sort of creative thing will get the juices flowing. I don't, I don't... Number five, when the scene is set, it's time to make your move. Just go for it. Put all the balls on the table and just go for it. Hey, whoa, hey, Max, what are you, hey? And just like that, you're in love. Because it worked. Because it worked. Hubby, I'm tired. Oh, you tired? Want to take a nap on my chest? Yes, please. Here, you can use my chest as a pillow to rest your cute face. You are so sweet, cotton swab. You are sweeter, sugar booger. Can you stay with me? Stay with me. Tell my son. Yes. I'm disappointed. Is that it? You sure you want that to be your last message? Uh, yeah. Okay, it's just I have to deliver that, and that's not real. Promise me. Okay, yeah, sure. He says he's disappointed. Wow, okay. Don't you hate it when you have a girlfriend and she has a twin sister, so you get confused and you fuck her dad? Okay, sir, you are here for the daycare job. Uh, first question. Okay. <clears throat> Do you like kids? I love them. Okay, that's enough questions. Um, you can, you can leave now and, and we'll give you a call. Mama, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Son, don't say that. We're not gonna let this COVID take you away, alright? You, you will have to fight. Please fight for me. Okay, mama. All right, I'll fight for you. Thank you. What's this I hear about you missing 81 days of school? Uh-uh, don't die. Don't die. Don't- 911, hello, I think my friend just died. Okay, I understand. First things first, make sure he's dead, okay? Okay, I got it. <laughs> okay, now what? What the fuck? Hey, Dad, I just got a five headshot kill streak. Oh, wow, I'm proud of you, little man. Good job. Thanks, Dad. So you're gonna let your child play those types of video games? Yeah, so? Aren't they a little too violent? Yeah, but it's not that big of a deal. I'm not gonna let my child grow up as a prude. Hey, Dad, I just found a cool sword and I started chopping people's heads off. That's awesome, little man. Keep it up. Don't you think that's gonna, like, mess them up in the future? That's a myth. There's absolutely no connection between violent kids and violent video games. Hey, Dad, I joined the cult. Hey, hey what? Now I'm harvesting the blood of our firstborn children to please our masters. Uh, okay, what game is that? Hey, stop, bro! It's just a stupid video game. Hey Dad, now I'm a ruthless dictator. I just convinced my army to commit mass genocide and discover new ways to torture our victims. Uh, okay, little man, it's time for bed. No more video games for the night. Hey Dad, I couldn't go to sleep, but I remember staring into my victim's eyes and watching their soul leave their body. And I don't have insomnia. Are you proud of me, Dad? Dad? Are you proud of me? Dad? Are you, are you proud of me? Hey, do you know what the time is? Time to get a watch. Time to get a new joke. Time to get a girlfriend. I'M WORKING ON THAT! Mom, today the kids at school were bullying me. Oh, sweetie, what? Who? Why? Because I made a card for a girl I like and- Ew, what? Simp? Simp? <gasps> You're grounded. Any last words? If you shoot me, your penis is small. Fuck. Ah, I see. Mm, gotcha. I see what you- Let me see. What? Nothing. Okay, class, today we're going to be playing Two Truths and a Lie. It's pretty self-explanatory. You're just going to say two things about yourself that are true and one that's not. 
Oh, can I, can I go first? Oh, Brooke, you're really excited. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Okay, uh, these are just off the top of my head. Um, I really like strawberries. My dad picked up crack like three years ago. It drove him insane. It tore our family apart. Then he got the death penalty for killing like a bunch of people. And uh, my birthday's in May. <laughs> oh. Um. Is, is the second one alive? My birthday's in July. If you have 10 apples and I take four, how many do you have left? Four? If you have 10 apples and I take four, how many do you have left? Four? <laughs> <laughs> so what do you look for in a man? I don't know. I like a man who's more uncapped, maybe facial hair. Oh yeah, I definitely feel that. Most of the guys I've dated have had like red hair, so I guess that's kind of a trend. For sure, for sure. You have to be athletic. It's a huge thing for me. Absolutely, absolutely. Completely agree. But I'm pretty independent. I'm not really looking for anything right now. Absolutely, absolutely. Damn, baby, look at you. Listen, I know you may get this a lot. You are beautiful. I can sing my ABCs to you. See, I'll give you an A because you're awesome, a B because you're beautiful, a C because you're confident, and I'll give you this D because you deserve it. <laughs> hey, dude, you almost forgot your phone. Uh, no, my phone's right here. Then whose phone is this? I don't know. Stop grabbing random phones you see on tables. I, well, it was right next to you. Okay, not everything close to me is mine, dude. What? Not everything close to me is mine. That's pretty obvious, dude. Oh my god, why didn't you tell me, dude? Tell you? This is basic common sense. <laughs> then what do I do with this? Is that a goddamn Xbox? Yeah, what I thought was your Xbox. Since when have I ever carried an Xbox out to lunch with me? Ah, dude, I don't understand why you didn't tell me. Tell you what? That not everything around me is mine? Then who's this? Oh, is that a whole child? Yeah, your whole child. Since when have I had children? I don't know, you get around, dude. You're going to jail. For what? Kidnapping a child? Your child? That thing's not mine! I need to tell you something before I die. What is it? You were adopt- I was adopted. You were adorable as a baby. Oh. That's why we adopted you. Thanks for watching the kids, Ma. Da, I appreciate it. My pleasure. Oh, and I saw on the television today that there's a man with a mustache running around flashing people, so keep an eye out. Really? Here? Well, not in this city, but you never know. Okay, goodbye, Ma. Don't trust anyone with a mustache. Hello, my little tortellinis. How are you? I have to go to the bathroom. All right, go ahead. <laughs> not right here. Go to the bathroom. Okay. So what's with you two? I am in love with your beautiful intellectual granddaughter. Oh, well. Well, I don't know about intellectual because she just tried to shit her pants right here, but that's adorable. What about you? I am in love with an older woman. Oh, I've been there. Back in high school, my first love was a senior and I was a junior, but I was too chicken to say anything, so take Nona's advice and go for it. Okay, I will. Good. You got a picture of her? Da. Let's see ya, huh? Oh dear god, I retract my statement. So your mother tells me you're afraid of heights? No, I'm afraid of highs. What? <laughs> Hello? Ah! You wanna know what I was thinking? We should start referring to your age as levels. Like I'm level 20. How fucking cool is that? My son died at level 4. <laughs> Noob. Hey, can you open this can for me? Oh yeah, for sure. Thank I you. could open that can for you, but I think what I'd rather do is teach you how to open it. Because give a man a fish, he eats for a day, but teach a man how to fish, he eats for life. Yeah, okay, Martin, you've been having depression, right? Uh, yeah? You see, I, I could give you antidepressants, uh, but I think what I'd rather do is knock you out with my baseball bat. Oh. Then I'm gonna use my pizza cutter to cut open your skull. Oh, and with your brains all exposed, I will surgically remove your amygdala, the portion of your brain that lets you feel emotions. That way, you will never feel depressed again. And that's an operation that I'm very capable of performing. Okay. Okay, can I open that can for you now? Oh no, I just fell in love with someone I saw in an So how 
how big are you? I'm 5 foot 10. No I mean in bed. Still 5 foot 10 but sideways. Am I okay? It's just a scratch on your leg. Can I see? Unfortunately the leg is in another ambulance. It's a boy. Wait, why isn't he crying? Oh, can I see him? Congratulations my- What the fuck?! <laughs> Man, <laughs> that was the Antichrist. That was definitely the Antichrist. That was not normal. Um, hello? I don't know who you are. This is Ike. I will find you. This is not Ike. Do you ever get the feeling we're being watched? Yeah. That guy. Hmm. How can we tell for sure? The binoculars? Oh, of course. Yeah, he's definitely watching us. Yeah, they're definitely watching me. Yo, I'll f you up, man. Yeah. You don't know me. You don't know Mike, I know. You don't know what I've been through. Yeah, he's been through it. I grew up with nothing. He had nothing then, he got nothing now. Yo, chill, chill. Hey, listen, Shut I- Shut up. I don't take shit from no from one. From no one. You haven't seen what I've seen. You ain't seen nothing yet. Yeah, and He's my best friend. I don't know about all that. Besties for life. I've only known you for two weeks. Best two weeks of my life. This is getting weird, man. So do you want me to park your car? I left my wife for you. Sister's boyfriend keeps stealing your Calvin Klein underwear. Well, here's how you're gonna get him back. Step one, you're gonna tell your sister it's your pet turtle Tyson's birthday. You wanna go bowling this weekend to celebrate, and she should come and tag along too, and bring a boyfriend, Lamar. It's gonna be a turtle-tastic time. Step two, everyone arrives and gets ready to bowl. You look over to Lamar and say, I'm hungry, I want a hot dog, you feel me? Boom, Lamar turns around to grab your hot dog and you immediately sprint over to a bowling ball. You fill one of the finger holes with industrial strength, quick drying super glue, and pass it back to Lamar. Quickly, Lamar, it's your turn to bowl. Lamar, look. She's the bowling ball. His body attached by the super glue flies along with it. You let onto his trousers and underwear like a fucking hellhound and use his own momentum to tear them from his body as he flies. Boom! Then, look. You just check the label of his underwear, see if they are yours, and if they are, you take him on home. Well done, mate. You just got your pants back. <laughs> oh, step on a crack, break your mum's back. I love my mum. Step on a crack break, a sex offender's back! Oh! 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 Call an ambulance! Call an ambulance! But not for me! No! 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 Two best friends, we just got Chick fil A, just vibing. We might kiss. No, Theo, stop. Just shut the fuck up and let it happen! No, I'm tired of your shit! Shut up! So I ask you this, Your Honor. Why did the chicken cross the road? To get to the other side. <laughs> but that doesn't quite add up. Why would the chicken need to cross the road? It has no motive. Unless... The chicken is the killer. <gasps> I can't believe you got another girl pregnant. You should learn from your brother Chris. He parties every weekend and has gotten zero girls pregnant. Chris tell your brother how you stay safe. I f guys. You've recently lost someone close to you, perhaps a family member, name beginning with F? Father. Father, yes. He's here with us now. What's he saying? He wants to tell you that he's disappointed. Oh. And also, you left the stove on. Right. Hmm. How did he die? Gas explosion. Ah. My dad just texted me that I uh, need to come home and have a meeting with him and mom because apparently she was diagnosed with cancer this morning. Wait a second. Cancer? Cancer? Can sure try to fit these nuts in your mouth? Okay, okay, Dad, it's definitely gonna be a D's nuts joke. Dad! What's up, buddy? There's a demon under my bed! No, there's not. Would it make you feel better if I checked? Mm-hmm. All right. Oh, hey, Frank. Brian? What's up, dude? Yo, I haven't seen you since I was like 10, dude. You're still working for the big man downstairs, I see. Uh, you know me, man. Listen, you mind laying off my son off there? He's a little bit of a post post. Oh, that's kind of cute. I like that. You call him your son. Yeah, he's the mailman's kid. You didn't know that? What do you mean? Yeah, dude, I was actually there. I was waiting for your daughter to come to sleep so I could scare her. But instead, I got Mrs. Moans a lot and mailman Steve making a paper boy right above me. All right, man. All right, man. Yep, nothing there. You're good. Are you sure? Hey Billy, you wanna play Naked Twister? <laughs> We're gonna have to let you go. I understand. Um, here's my gun and my badge. 
You're a dentist for children. Where did you get this gun from? Hey, Dad. Yeah, bud. I had my head down in class today. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And then the teacher said, what's wrong, Dommy? And then I said, did you hear about the depressed plumber? And the teacher said, well, no. And then I said, well, he's going through some crap. <laughs> I just took a DNA test, turns out I'm 100% at risk for early onset Alzheimer's. Is it possible you guys made a mistake or something? Because that's really high, I don't know. Here's the deal. I'll reveal to you who the killer is with hard evidence if you give me full immunity. I don't know. Well, I'm your only lead. Fine. Full immunity. You're a free man. Who's the killer? Me. Fuck! Emma Jean was a prankster, and I'm sure we will all fondly remember her knack for practical jokes. Well, I remember this one time. Ew. Oh, Did you just fart on my you wife? On my Did grandma. you just shit on your grandmother? I'm proud of you, son. What? No, that wasn't me. I didn't fart. Oh, grandma, you bitch. How long do I have, doctor? A month at best. But on the bright side, you're lucky that you have these moments. Little Jimmy here is going to die in three days. You think you're f***ing better than me? Think you can beat me? Watch. F*** he's fine! Alright, you know what's up. Three wishes, three rules. I can't make anyone fall in love with you, I can't bring back the dead, and you can't wish for more wishes. I wish the age of consent was 12. Four rules! Alright, and before you give me any of your wishes, I've heard it all. Don't wish for more wishes. I don't want to bring anyone back from the dead. And I can't kill anybody. Okay? That's it? Those are your only rules? Why are you saying it like that? Yes, those are my only rules. No, no, no reason. No reason at all. What are you writing down? What are you doing? What's going on here? I'm just making a list of some things that I want. That's like seven things already. I told you, don't wish for more wishes. I'm not wishing for more wishes. Um, so I wish that everything on this piece of paper would come true. You son of a bitch! I am a genie. You have three wishes. No way. Oh, I got the perfect wish. Okay. Okay, so I wish that every time I reach in my pocket, I pull out $100. All right. Yes. All right, let's see. Oh. <laughs> it works. Wait, someone broke into my house. I'm calling the police. I am a genie. You have three wishes. Wow! I have the perfect wish. So this is my girlfriend and she's blind, but we've been together a long time and I just wish she could see the world. So I wish my girlfriend could see. You know what? That's a pretty good wish. Done. Wow! Well, wait, Gabe? That's what you look like? <laughs> you are not my type. Ooh, he's cute though. What's your name? Hi, I'm the genie. I'm Katie. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So what are you doing later? Hey babe, can we talk for a second? Uh, Jerry, I'm gonna have to call you back. What is it, babe? There's something I need to tell you. What's going on? I'm pregnant. Hi, pregnant. I'm dad. <laughs> That's the funny thing. You're not. What? Who's the father? Jerry's the father. <laughs> We now return to Stabbed in the Butt, the only game show where if you get the answer wrong, you get stabbed in the butt. All right, Bradley, here's your question. What is the atomic weight of nitrogen? <gasps> get him, guys! Stab him in the butt! That's why you're mad at me. You see, I couldn't tell exactly what it was. I knew your vibe was off. I just, I didn't know what I had done wrong. You couldn't tell? It wasn't, like, a little obvious what you did wrong. I asked you for permission, so... I don't understand why there's even a problem right now. You asked if you could take my kids out for a spin. Right. Normally when people say that, they mean in a car. Okay. Not a fucking washing machine. Why did you put my kids in the washing machine? It was a simple mistake. What episode are you on now? I'm on episode two. Oh, that's not so bad. In season five. But you just started yesterday. Yes. Aren't you lactose intolerant? This isn't lactose, it's milk. You're a fucking idiot. If your leg get cut off, would it hurt? Duh. How though? Because your leg got cut off, fool. Where you gonna feel the pain? In your leg. Exactly, bruh. How you gonna feel the pain in your leg if your, your leg, leg is, is gone? gone? 
All right, son, this is a lie detector. It's gonna beep every time you're not telling the truth. So I'll ask you again. Were you at school today? I already told you, Dad. Yeah, of course I was. You sure about that? Okay, okay, okay. I went and had a beer with my friends. You see, this is the kind of behavior I'm talking about. I was never drinking at your age. <laughs> well, I guess he really is your son. Honey? What the f- Hey, dude. What are you doing? Oh, hey. Nothing. Uh, I'm doing nothing. That's the most suspicious nothing I've ever heard. But it's true. What's behind that door? What? What? This one? Yeah, that one. Air? Uh-huh. What else? More air. All right, I'm checking. Whoa! Oh, no, no, you cannot do that. You cannot do that. Why? Uh, because it's, uh, it's really embarrassing. All right, cool. I'm your best friend, so I'm sure you'll be fine to show me, right? Okay, good. Ah, no! If you check behind this door, our friendship is at risk. Whoa. Okay, now you're freaking me out. What the hell is behind this door, dude? It doesn't matter, okay? Just please leave. Yeah, you don't have a choice now. I'm checking. My ex-girlfriend is a whore, but it's cool. 10 minus 7 is 3. That was my age when my dad left me, but he'll be back. 1 plus 1 is 2. This morning, I stepped in dog poo, and it sucked. 5 minus 4 is 1. My mom once said, you're not my son. That hurt. Uh, Bruh, you remember our third grade teacher, Miss Jackson? Uh, yeah, I remember her. Remember every beginning of the class, she'd be saying, here you go, baby, and she'd be giving us candy? I remember them days. She was so sweet. But remember how she'd be helping us on all the tests and everybody in the classroom passed? That's the reason why I passed third grade. She was so helpful. And, uh, remember at every time at the end of school, if we didn't have a ride, she always takes us home, but on our way home, we'd be getting McDonald's? Ooh, I remember that. She was so, boy, she was like a mother to me. Boy, I love her. But guess what, though? What? She did. Why you had to do all that? The fuck is that? Well, that, that there's some muscle milk, cow. Ooh! Jesus! Oh! Look at the size of that udder! That is no udder. The last person who takes the right hand off this table wins a million dollars. You guys ready? Yeah. Go. Yeah. All right, so the rules are... Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> That's your left hand, dumbass! I want to tell him how I feel, but I have this bad habit of always getting nervous and changing the subject. Calm yourself down, and then ask him if he wants to hang out this weekend. Okay, fine, yeah. Hey Peyton, I have a question. Do you think your grandma suffered when she died? Shit, I'm not getting any service. You? Of course, damn it. No juice, phone's dead. I just smashed my phone with a hammer. Guys, my phone's a book. Sorry, your stepsister's not going to make it. Oh god no, I meant she's not going to make it to this meeting. Oh right, of course lol, because she's dead. Mommy, I drew a picture of our family. Oh wow, good job. I'll hang it on the fridge for daddy to see when he's home from work. Mommy, I drew a picture of our family. Oh wow, good job. I'll hang it on the fridge for daddy to see when he's home from work. Best mate Alan just stole your leftover Pepper John's pizza. Well, here's how you're gonna get it back. Step one, you tell Alan that you are literally about to f yourself with excitement because it's your grandma's birthday barbecue. Tell Alan he's been invited to the barbecue and the party starts tonight. Step two, Alan writes his little BC letter to your grandma's house, comes inside, says hello, goes number two, washes his hands, and then you smash him over the back of the head with a huge bowl of gorgonzola. Sweet dreams, Alan. Boom. Step three, you immediately cover Alan in gift wrapping paper and tie him to the tree outside. Then you blindfold grandma, hand her a wooden stick, and tell her to beat the living shit out of her Alan shaped pinata like there's no tomorrow. Boom, boom, boom. Grandma beats Alan's stomach like a motherfucking drum until. <laughs> Alan simply pukes up your Papa John's pizza, you pick it up off the ground, and if it's still in okay condition, you take it back home. Well done, mate. Justice has been served. I'm losing control of the plane. What do I do? You have to. No. You know what? I'm a good teacher. I'm going to let this guy figure it out for himself. This is a very good learning opportunity, and he's going to thank me later. I believe in you. This is a POV of you and I on a brunch date. No! Oh my god, what the fuck? No! I forgot to mention, in this POV, you just shot my dad in the face. Why would you do that? He didn't do anything to you! Hey Jake, congrats on your sister being pregnant. 
Wait, where is she? <laughs> yeah, thanks. Um, she's just in the toilet. Oh, okay. No worries. Um, any idea what she's having? I mean, not really. She's been in there for a while, so she's probably taken a sh- Hey man, I hear your wife's pregnant. What? Congratulations, dude. That's awesome. <laughs> Whoa, no, 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 no. She, she's not. Oh, um, are you sure? No, I'm Chris. What did you just say? I don't know. I wasn't listening. Okay, dude, just stay calm. Where's my phone, Chris? I need to call her. Where's my fucking phone? I think you'll like it, you know? The teachers are nice, but the principal? Complete idiot. Do you know who I am? Huh? No? The principal's son. Oh, well, do you know who I am? <laughs> no. Good. <laughs> Is this patient sexually active? <laughs> With your mom. Triple the dosage. But sir, that could kill him. Just fucking do it. Okay, class, listen up. Today, we are going to be talking about the fitness gram. Hey, hey, dude, dude. What? What? So, yesterday, I just woke up with the ability to read anyone's mind. <laughs> no way, dude. What? I swear. Just watch, watch, watch. Uh, look, Jacob over there. Watch this. Penis. Men. Gay sex. Balls. Guys. Wrestling. Soccer. <clears throat> okay, well, that was no surprise. Um, uh, who wants? Who wants? Let's see. Ah, uh, what about that quiet kid? Ah, uh, yeah, Richard, Richard. Run, run. Hey, son. Yeah, Dad? Uh, me and your mom need to talk with you, so be in the living room. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll be there. It's just, uh, um, can I finish this game first? I'm so close. Sure, but uh, make it quick, okay? You got it. My time has come. They figured out I'm not the innocent Christian boy they thought I was. What a shame. Years of secrets all comes down to this. It was a good run, but whatever they know about me now is irrelevant. I must use these final moments to my advantage. With only two years till my 18th birthday, victory is practically in the palm of my hands. I've tried my best to be the good guy, but I did what I had to do. I was cautious, but unfortunately nobody's perfect. Why must life be so cruel? Why must I have to face this alone? Whatever happens next is for fate to decide. I have nothing to hide. I have nothing to protect. I am an open book. But at what cost? That we will see. You needed me? Grandma died. <laughs> yes! What? Wait, what did you say was wrong with me again, Doc? Like I just said, you have short-term memory loss! <laughs> no, I do not. Yes, you do! <laughs> yeah, prove it. Hi. If you guys sent this video, it means that you don't know what this is. See this? This is a door. Opens like this. And it closes like that. So the next time that you decide to leave my room, shut the door. All right, Simp Nation, that is it for today's video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. If you made it this far, you already know. Go ahead and smash that like button. Uh, hit it real nice and good for me. Come on, hit it. I'm waiting. You just watched my entire 10 minute video and you're not gonna hit the like button. Tyler. Tyler Martin, hit the like button. Impossible. We have your family, Tyler. Oh. Yeah, yeah. We snatched them in the middle of the night while you were sleeping, Tyler. Oh, that's not true. You never noticed. Mom. Now hit the like button. <laughs> Imagine if there's actually someone named Tyler Martin watching this right now. That'd be crazy. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed Oh, what's wrong? It's gone. What is? My tarantula. Okay, was it in the jar when we left the house? Well, yeah, I was just feeding it. Doris, find the spider. Paul, I'm trying. Doris? Don't stress me, sweetie. Uh, where were you feeding it? On the sea. I have a phobia for spiders, you know this. Paul, just calm down. Oh, God, oh, man. Look under your seat. Oh, Look under God. daddy's seat. Oh, man. It did, it's not there. Oh, Sweet, does it have God. a name? What can oh, we call it? Man. Oh, God. Fred, okay, oh, man. Fred. Fred. Oh, Fred. Give me a Fred. Oh, man, oh, God, Fred. oh, man, oh, God. We finally found Fred and we managed to put him back in the jar with chopsticks, which is how I was able to bring him here to show everyone today. Oh. Hey, hey. Dad died. <laughs> his hair. But Dad's bald. His arm hair. Oh, and, and Mom's leaving him. <laughs> Go out with his college buddies tonight. He hasn't seen them in ages. Okay. Oh, and, and your ex-girlfriend texted me. <laughs> what? She's been missing for six years. Well, they found her. Dead. <laughs> Oh, and I nearly forgot. I'm going to jail tomorrow. Oh, sorry.
<laughs> to visit Uncle Bob. Oh, yeah, they're giving him the lethal injection on Monday. What? What? Why? Do you not remember? You replaced all the water in the house with poison. <laughs> that only kicks in when you spit it out. <laughs> Seven times. What episode are you on now? I'm on episode two. Oh, that's not so bad. In season five. But you just started yesterday. Yes. Hey, yo, you think we killed everybody? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we did. I don't know. What about this one? Shit, he looked dead to me. We gotta make sure he is. Hey, tickle his feet, cuz. What? Tickle his feet. Are you serious right now? No, I'm serious, bro. Just tickle his feet. Trust me. All right, man. He alive. No, wait, he, wait, hey, wait, shoot wait, his wait. Please let me into heaven. And why should I do that? Because of what Candace said. C Candace? Who's Candace? Well, what do you mean, Candace? Candace, dip in your mouth! It was a pretty good totally one. Totally worth it. Okay, what does A stand for? Arson. Oh, you're so good. Okay, B. What does B stand for? Barson. <laughs> what stands for C? Commit arson. Ooh. D. Don't come near me. I'm going to commit arson. <laughs> I raised her real well. Your Honor, I would like to plead guilty and request the death penalty. This is, a uh, for a parking ticket. I know, I know. <laughs> so tomorrow, death penalty, or? What the fuck is wrong with you? Hey, Dad, I just got a five headshot kill streak. Oh, wow. I'm proud of you, little man. Good job. Thanks, Dad. So you're gonna let your child play those types of video games? Yeah, so? Aren't they a little too violent? Yeah, but it's not that big of a deal. I'm not gonna let my child grow up as a prude. Hey, Dad, I just found a cool sword and I started chopping people's heads off. That's awesome, little man. Keep it up. Don't you think that's gonna, like, mess them up in the future? That's a myth. There's absolutely no connection between violent kids and violent video games. Hey, Dad, I joined the cult. Hey, hey what? Now I'm harvesting the blood of our firstborn children to please our masters. Uh, okay, what game is that? Hey, hey, stop, bro! It's just a stupid video game. Hey, Dad, now I'm a ruthless dictator. I just convinced my army to commit mass genocide and discover new ways to torture uh, Okay, little man, it's time for bed. No more video games for the night. Hey, Dad, I couldn't go to sleep, but I remember staring into my victim's eyes and watching their soul leave their body. And I don't have insomnia. Are you proud of me, Dad? Dad, are you proud of me? It's your problem. No problem. That's my problem. And what's the problem? I'm a problem solver. I need a problem to solve. Okay, your finances. Did you solve that? Oh, yeah. No problem. Okay, well, do you get enough sleep at yeah. night? No major insecurities? Yeah. You're happy with your family yeah. life? You're healthy? Yeah, done. I've solved all of those. Well, you've solved all your basic problems. Now you need fulfillment. But I got my fulfillment solving the basic problems. And why aren't you fulfilled? Because I ran out of problems. Well, that's problematic. Well, probably. No, definitely. That is a problem to solve. What is? Having no problem to solve. Well, how do I solve the problem of having no problems? Well, that's not my problem. It, what's your problem? Alright, just read that first line for me. I could am yep. scared of. What? Next line. N wow, uh, I'm not saying that. Can't read that one? I can read it. It's the N-word. I'm not going to say it. Oh. Well, I guess you need glasses. Have a good day. You too. Oh, Niagara. You will need to be seated in a brace position. Brace. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, Dave. Hey, babe. Can we talk for a second? Uh, Jerry, I'm gonna have to call you back. What is it, babe? There's something I need to tell you. What's going on? I'm pregnant. Hi, pregnant. I'm dad. <laughs> That's the funny thing. You're not. <laughs> What? Who's the father? Jerry's the father. Huh. Apparently, girls talk in a higher pitch when talking to a person they're like. Really? Hmm. Haha, <laughs> no way, that's so funny. Hang on, let me call you back. <laughs> hey. Hey, babe, uh, where are you been? You left me at the goddamn McDonald's! I wasn't loving it! Yeah, things haven't been going too well with me and my girlfriend. I hired an acting coach to help us save our relationship. I'd like to start out with some acting exercises. You told me there would be no exercise! Babe, calm down. This guy cost us $200. What the fuck? I'm currently running on two hours of sleep, suicidal thoughts, and an Oreo, and I'm ready to fight God 
or become him. Hey, baby, uh, where you been? You left me at a goddamn McDonald's. I wasn't loving it. Yeah, things haven't been going too well with me and my girlfriend. I hired an acting coach to help us save our relationship. I'd like to start out with some acting exercises. You told me there would be no exercise. Babe, calm down. This guy cost us two hundred dollars. What the fuck? I never know what to say to someone at a funeral. I'm terrible. Just say, I'm sorry for your loss, then move on. Thank you for coming to the funeral. I'm sorry for your loss. Now move on. Oh shit, that's a dope ass fucking car, bro. How much is it? I don't knew. Knew? That's not how you say it. Then how do you say it then? It's I don't knowing. Bro, it's not I don't knew or I don't knowing. Then what is it then? I don't know. You fucking dumbass. If you didn't know, shut the fuck up then. Hey, Mom, I want you to meet my girlfriend. Oh, hi. It's so nice to meet you. It's so nice to meet you, too. Ah, oh, you're really pretty. Oh, um, thank you. Of course. Um, did you know that he used to eat his own shit? If you press that button, it'll take one year off of your life. But you'll get a hundred thousand dollars. Dude, stop. Stop it. Hey, me and you, we gotta talk. Uh, sure, um, wh wh what's up? Did you kill my father? I'm sorry, look, I promise it will never happen again. Well, of course it won't happen again, that's the point. Why are you late? Yeah, remember when you told me yesterday that the bell does not dismiss you, I dismiss you? Yeah, what about it? Well, if the bell does not dismiss me, it does not tell me when to get here on time. Get out of my class, Ryan. Why? Because I was five minutes late? You weren't even in class yesterday. I know, but that's not important. Yeah, it is. It's way more important for you to be here than us. The substitute gave you homework yesterday. Put it on my desk on your way out. I finished it in class yesterday. I put it on your desk. Ryan, why are your answers from question one all the way to question eight exactly the same as Michael's answers? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because we were answering the same questions? Can you believe this? Oh, by the way, toss me a pencil. Hey, no talking to each other during class. Why are you teaching during my conversation? That's it. To the principal's office, now. Fine. Can I go to the bathroom on the way? What for? To open the chamber of secrets. What do you think? Out! Okay, what does A stand for? Arson. Oh, you're so good. Okay, B. What does B stand for? Barson. <laughs> what stands for C? Commit arson. Ooh. D. Don't come near me. I'm going to commit arson. <laughs> I raised her real well. Yo, can you arrest me so I can sit with my best friend? Dude, shut the fuck up, bro. Shut the fuck up. It's not even a joke anymore, bro. It's never been a joke. Are you, are you guys stupid? Hey, bro. Yeah, bro? Close your eyes, bro. Okay, bro. What do you see, bro? N nothing, bro. That's my world without you, bro. I have a question. Okay. Have you ever heard of Stranger Danger? No. Perfect. Sir, I'm sorry, but we're going to have to ask you to leave. Why? Do you really want to know? Yes. Your vibes are off. When your friend tells you to do something? Uh, you're not my dad. When your dad tells you to do something? Dad? You came back. Son. Just pass the fucking remote. Hi, what can I get for you? Hi, can I get the chocolate banana smoothie? What's that one called? Um, the Choco Fun Time Banana Rama Buzz. <clears throat> and what can I get for you? Yeah, could I just get this one here? Sorry, I don't have my glasses. You're gonna have to tell me what it's called. I killed JFK. We got it. Please, freeze on your head. So. What's your zodiac sign? <laughs> well, I'll give you three guesses. <laughs> oh, that's so something a cancer would say. Not a cancer, but keep guessing. Uh, really? You really seem like a cancer to me. Uh, nope. I just said I'm, I'm, I'm not a cancer. Uh, are you sure you're not a cancer? No, I was born in January. Are, are you trying to tell me something? You have cancer. Come on, get up. Let's fight. Let's go. You'll lose. Oh, yeah? And why is that? Because you were forsaken at birth. What? Oh, oh, oh. You don't understand, do you? No. Your kind will never prosper. Hey, what are you doing? Bro! What is this? What have you done to me? Huh. Apparently, girls talk in a higher pitch when talking to a person they're like. Really? Hmm. Haha, <laughs> no way, that's so funny. Hang on, let me call you back. <laughs> hey. 
Oh, I'm hungry. Hi, hungry. I'm dad. You're not my dad. Hungry? Harry. Oh, wrong house. I think we should get a divorce. What are you doing? I'm just practicing. <laughs> Why are you already planning your hypothetical divorce? I don't know, I'm 22. I think I'm having a quarter life crisis. You don't even have a girlfriend. Hypothetically divorce me. Okay, then I'm hypothetically taking half of your assets. Well, you didn't sign the hypothetical prenup. Is it? It's called a prenup, right? Yeah, it's a prenup and you did hypothetically sign one, so. Who the fuck is this guy? I'm his hypothetical lawyer in this divorce case. Well, then I'm taking the hypothetical kids. So, right? We can get those, right? Yes, we can definitely get the hypothetical kids. Don't worry about it. Who the fuck is this hypothetical nerd? Fucking idiot, glass-wearing nerd, stupid Wow, that is a lot boy. of hypothetical insults. I need to keep these on for continuity because we look like the other lawyer. <laughs> this is my hypothetical lawyer, and we have been hypothetically sleeping with each other, so... How could you hypothetically- How could you hypothetically do this to me? How do you people flirt? I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. This is like a visual representation of like what I do when I flirt. Damn, girl, you're like not ugly. Like, what am I supposed to say? Hey, can you remind me that you don't hate me? Because <laughs> I get insecure very easily. What's the problem? Ten minutes, swear to God. You can play with this kaleidoscope I got you at the airport. What? A kaleidoscope? I'm not five. Shapes and colors, the likes of which I've never seen. Any last words? If you shoot me, your penis is small. Fuck. I see. Gotcha. I see what you... Let me see. What? Nothing. What is happening? Is everything okay? No, it's not okay. A freaking tarantula almost bit my freaking arm off. And Mickey, do something. I'm scared. Well, right there. Right freaking there. Are you blind? Are you talking about that? The itsy bitsy spider? Yeah. Wow, ladies. All right, fine, I'll squish it. No, don't hurt it! Oh, my voodoo doll of mom. Yeah, totally throw, it never worked anyway. Ow, what the hell was that? Oh, keep. Ah! Promise to do exactly as I say, no questions asked. I promise. I want you to walk like a dog with an itchy butt. I shouldn't have promised. We now return to Stabbed in the Butt, the only game show where if you get the answer wrong, you get stabbed in the butt. All right, Bradley, here's your question. What is the atomic weight of nitrogen? <laughs> get him, guys! Stab him in the butt! Well, what's your problem? No problem. That's my problem. And what's the problem? I'm a problem solver. I need a problem to solve. Okay, your finances. Did you solve that? Oh, yeah. No problem. Okay, well, do you get enough sleep at yeah. night? No major insecurities? Yeah. You're happy with your family yeah. life? You're healthy? It, done. I've solved all of those. Well, you've solved all your basic problems. Now you need fulfillment. But I got my fulfillment solving the basic problems. Then why aren't you fulfilled? Because I ran out of problems. Well, that's problematic. Probably. No, definitely. That is a problem to solve. What is? Having no problem to solve. Well, how do I solve the problem of having no problems? Well, that's not my problem. Hey, what's your problem? Do not make any sudden movements. Do not reach for that gun on that table, because I know you're tempted. And if you comply, I will not harm you. Then, then I'll comply. Okay, alright, that's good. That's especially good for you, because, I mean, my aim and my reflexes are impeccable. Must have, must have been a draft. There's no windows in here. Some sort it's of... It's not even windy out there. Paranormal activity. I know you reached for the gunman. That's not true. Who do you think you're dealing with, okay? My mom told me. My dad owns Microsoft. Your family will never... Ah! 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 We're gonna talk about what that was? It had, had a seizure. Oh my god, here we go with the lies again. You didn't have a seizure, I all right? I saw something behind you. Oh, come on, you couldn't even see behind me. What are you talking I about? I was just Stop lying. handing okay. you the gun. Handing me the gun? You were pulling the trigger. You, you, you were you trying to shoot me. You were trying to kill me. Why, why do I even put up with this? You're come just on, like so good. What's up, bro? How's it going? Uh, not doing so good. My uh, grandma just passed away. Uh, I'm so sorry, man. I, I didn't know. You're good, bro. You're good. Did she live a long life? Not really. She was only 69. She died yesterday at 420 p.m. <laughs> Hold up, you're laughing? <laughs> no, I'm not. Oh, so you think this is funny? <laughs> no, I don't, no, I don't. We're allergic to the language French. W we? Hey Siri, how do you say seal in French? Fuck. 
fuck. This is a cute baby fuck with his ugly motherfucker. The difference between best friends and regular friends. Best friends can get away with a lot more than regular friends can. For instance, if I'm eating something and you know I'm about to finish it and it's like the last bite and my best friend goes and it falls out my hand, I'm gonna laugh. But now if my friend does that, oh, I might just kill you. The cemetery is hiring! The cemetery is hiring! Don't mind if I fucking do! So your grandma keeps offering you food even when you're not hungry. Here's how you're gonna get her back. Step one, you're gonna head straight to your grandma's house, tell her you're not hungry, and then wait until she offers you some apple pie. You then say, no grandma, I'm really not hungry, and watch as she hands you a plate of apple pie anyway. Big mistake, grandma. Step two, you grab the apple pie, take a little bite, and then smear the rest all over your hands, face, and chest. You tell grandma you're gonna need to run a little bath, and then sprint upstairs to the bathroom. Boom. You immediately spin the taps until they spin no more. The water rises out of the pipes at 100 miles per hour, and floods the room around you. The warm bubbly water rises higher and higher, until you're swimming in your bathroom like a Japanese urchin hunter. Gallons of water flood through the floor and pour into the kitchen below. The bathtub crashes down onto your grandma's Stove. It smashes it into blithering! You can't cook without a kitchen, Grandma, can you now? You see, when a boy isn't hungry, he simply isn't hungry! And this is the last time you'll be offering me food! Boom! And step three, you simply head back home, get into bed, and close your eyes knowing you will never have to eat with a full stomach again. Well done, mate. Justice has been served. Would you rather fight a chicken to death every time you got into your car, or an orangutan to death once a year, but you get a sword. Sir, we make questions about the job. Oh, okay. Hey, why aren't koalas considered bears? Because they're marsupials. Because they're marsupials. No, it's because they don't have the right qualifications. Hey, that last piece is mine. Uh, look out, a murderer. What? <laughs> oh! You better watch it, buddy. Holy shit, sorry. Now, Stephen, today I'm here as your lawyer, okay? That means you're protected under client confidentiality, okay? Anything you tell me, I can't repeat to anyone without your permission, okay? Do you understand? Yes. Okay, now that that's out of the way, did you do it? Did I sleep with your wife? What? No. No. No? Well, now I am a little curious. Did you sleep with my wife? Yeah, well, well no. Um, I have been sleeping with her for the last two years, regularly. Oh, you were talking about the arson that I'm on trial for. What are you doing? I am calling Jessica. Did I give you permission to do that? No, you didn't. Okay, so back on the subject of arson, I actually didn't do that. Do you have an alibi? Yes, I was at your house. And is there someone that can confirm you were at my house? Yes, there is. And can they confirm your whereabouts for the whole night? And most of the next morning... <laughs> Thank you so much. Have a nice day. I'm all Was I productive? No. But did I work on my mental health? Also, no. No, we wasted a day. Go team. Ladies and gentlemen, I am officially off the market. Taken? Nah. I've simply given up. Hey, keep eye on my grandma, please. All right, I got you. Thanks for coming in. Uh, describe yourself in one word. Hired. Can he just do that? Yo, want to ding dong ditch a completely random house? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Which one should we do? Uh, let's do that one. Well, bud, doesn't look like anyone's going to show up to your birthday party this year. Again. I'm sorry. Yeah. I know. Hey, but maybe next year. Yeah. Probably not. But hey, at least we got all this birthday cake to ourselves now, right? Yeah, that's true, I guess. And you did get chocolate cake again this year. I'm still allergic to chocolate, but... Yeah.
Hey mom, do you need any help with the dishes? No, it's fine. I got it. Okay. You know what? No one ever helps me in this house. If I wasn't here, nothing would get done. How's it making a sense? I fucking asked you if you needed help! Johnny and Marissa sitting in a tree. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. First comes love, then comes marriage, then comes an abrupt and tragic miscarriage, then comes blame, then comes despair. Two hearts damaged beyond repair. Johnny leaves Marissa and takes the tree. D-I-V-O-R-C-E. So, what's your zodiac sign? <laughs> well, I'll give you three guesses. <laughs> oh, that's so something a cancer would say. Not a cancer, but... Keep guessing. Uh, really? You really seem like a cancer to me. Uh, nope. I just said I'm, I'm, I'm not a cancer. Uh, are you sure you're not a cancer? No, I was born in January. Are you, are you trying to tell me something? You have cancer. You want to know my zodiac sign? Well, do the math. What's five times five? I, I don't know. Well, then look it up. All right, jeez. Ah! Let's just use my phone. <laughs> Shoot, papi, moon. Uh, give me your phone. This is the best option. Oh, yes, Daddy. Don't tell your mother. Double my allowance. Hey, guys. Welcome to our All You Can Eat Buffet. Now, remember, children under the age of eight do eat for free, so... Oh, oh, it's a perfect. Okay, my son also is a uh, seven. What? Dad, I'm 23. Sir, your son is clearly an adult Asian man. My son is a seven, okay? Ask him. Ask him if he's a seven. Okay, um, are you seven? <sighs> yeah, yeah. I'm... S I'm seven. Uh, he free, okay? Yeah, yeah. Fuck. Fuck the job. I hate you! Oh! Well, next time, don't steal my monopoly! Ariana, give James your $200 you landed on his property. No! He's in jail! I'm not gonna give money to a criminal! That's not how you... Play! Mommy? Why is brother screaming? Shut the f*** up, Sally. You don't get to talk after stealing my last railroad. I wish I was never born! Me too! You think I wanted this? And now it's your turn. Let's see what your fortune is. Uh, that's weird. I I think this is a misprint or something. This because. Uh... <laughs> Mommy, guess what? I just got my first period. Honey, that's ridiculous. Boys don't get periods. Oh yeah? Well then why is there blood coming out my ass? <coughs> you know, it's probably the gerbil we put in there. The fucking what? Alright, who took my glasses? I can't even look for them because I can't see anything. On your head. Oh, that's better. There! Stop that man! So would you rather fight a gorilla? Or never be able to turn left? Uh, not turn left? What, what kind of question was that, dude? Okay, you're you're weird, bro. I'm gonna get some food. What? Hey, hey, hey! What have you done? Change this! All right. Oh, thank God, bro. How did you? What's up, bro? How's it going? Uh, not doing so good. My uh, grandma just passed away. Uh, I'm so sorry, man. I I didn't know. You're good, bro. You're good. Did she live a long life? Not really. She was only 69. She died yesterday at 4:20 p.m. <laughs> Hold up. You're laughing? <laughs> no, I'm not. Oh, so you think this is funny? <laughs> no, I don't. No, I don't. Mom, it's Grandma. Are you gonna knock the next time you just come in my room? What? That was rude. I'm sorry. Uh, let's try again. Now you can come in. Okay. Grandma's having a heart attack. All right. Thanks again. Bye. You hang up first. No, you hang up first. No, you. No, no, no. You hang up first. Listen. You hang up first. You hang up first. No, no. Okay, ready? We're getting on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Alright, they're gonna send an ambulance. <laughs> Come on, man. Who drunk the last of my Hawaiian punch? I knew something was gonna happen to this. That's why I pissed in it. Something wrong, Gary? <laughs> Mom, it's grandma. Are you gonna knock the next time you just come in my room? What? That was rude. I'm sorry. Uh, let's try again Now you can come in. Okay Grandma's having a heart attack Are you winning son? I am always winning dad Nani 
Hello, winning. I'm Dad. My horoscope says today I'm going to get a bit of good news, but also some bad news. Horoscopes aren't real. Oh, thank God. <laughs> That's good news. <laughs> <laughs> Grandma's dead. Oh, hey, Mark. Oh, my God. You scared me, dude. Oh, sorry, dude. What? Are you looking at pictures of furs on your laptop or something? <laughs> no, no. Just doing some homework, man. How did you know that? Who's that? Is that your girlfriend? Did you wet the bed again? <laughs> no. How the hell did he know that? Oh, uh, that's for me. Yes. Thank you. Finally. What'd you get? Oh, um, it's it's nothing, dude. What? Did you get something weird, like a portrait of Danny DeVito? Uh, no. That would be weird, though. How in the world did he know that? So, uh, do you have any plans today? Why do you ask? Uh, just curious. What? Are you are you planning on assassinating me or something? <laughs> As if. How the hell did he know? Oh hey Dave, what's up? This human form is limited. Parents gonna be like, oh you've been in your room all day. Okay? What's the problem? Am I bothering you? I don't wanna deal with human interaction right now. I, what's the problem? What am I doing? Loading basement. Oh my god, Kyle, where have you been? Two NPCs to my left. What did he say? Ever since his mom died a month ago, he's been in denial. He thinks he's in a video game. Kyle, I know it hurts, but you have to come to terms with your mother's death. I am aware NPC 179 has despawned. Uh, no! She's dead! Oh. Deceased! Health has decreased by 10%. Kyle, you're not in a video game! NPCs have become self-aware. Initiating creative mode. Hi, I'm here for the job interview. Perfect, take a seat. Here's the situation. The police just entered the building, so we'll be in this room in about 30 seconds. So this is a one-time only job offer. See him? That's Bob. Bob's a piece of shit. That right, Bob. <laughs> F you, Bob. Why is he tied up? We don't have time for you to talk. Bob is our accountant. Bob is also my brother-in-law. He cheated on my sister, so he'll do whatever I tell him to. Here, Bob, draw a penis on your face. Bob also embezzled a million dollars from the government last year in tax fraud, vis-a-vis -vis cops downstairs. Now the thing is, I need Bob. I need Bob bad. I can blackmail him to do whatever I want, so I want to keep Bob around. But I still need a fall guy. Ignore them. Eyes. Right here. Here's the job. You take the fall, you go to jail for a year. Cushy jail, though, not murder jail. You play tennis, do therapy, get real good at chess, and at the end of one year, you're let out and we pay you $500,000. You got five seconds to choose. Five, four, um, three, two, one. I'll do it. One. Bingo. He's in here. Did he say yes? We got a new employee. I like your initiative, kid. Welcome to Chick-fil-A. <laughs> So, uh, who do you like? I don't know, you have to guess. Shelby? No. Riley? Mm-mm. Emma? Damn it! No! No! Are you not catching on to anything I've been saying? No, it's not. Okay! I is it me? Uh, it might be- who do, you who do you like? I don't know, you should guess. Do you like me? Do you like me? I mean, not really. I like Joey. Damn it! God! Ugh! Okay, uh, I don't even like you either. It was literally a dare for me to come over here. Uh, you're kind of ugly, and you're probably the reason why your parents got a divorce. Your voice is so annoying, and you're not funny at all. Why would you s- Hey, that last piece is mine. Uh, look out, a murderer! What? Oh! You better watch it, buddy. Holy shit, sorry. Hey, dude, what are you doing in my house? I am here to kill you. Haha, -ha, you fool! You can't kill me! Why not? I'm in the living room! Hey, dude, tell me a scary story. What? No. Come on, please. Did I hear scary story? Who the hell are you? Just a man who would like to share a scary story with two young boys. Okay, go ahead. It goes like this. Two boys were sitting alone at night talking about scary stories. Wow, that sounds familiar. All of the sudden, a strange man walked up to them and asked them if he could tell a scary story. Very familiar. Unfortunately, this man was a convicted felon. What? But the boys forgot to bring their phones that night. And after the man was done telling his story, he pulled out his weapon. Boom! Boom! They could have survived that night. If only they would have brought their mobile devices like their dad told them to. Bring your phone next time. All right. Hey, you boys have fun. Sir, I want you to try these on and tell me if you can see.
Oh my God, what are these things? I can see for the first time in years. New invention called glasses. Baby, so those things cured your blindness? Yeah, babe, they... Wow. What? It is over. You are hideous as f I've been walking around with you? All right, just read that first line for me. I could am, yup, scared of. What? Next line. N wow, uh, I'm not saying that. Can't read that one? I can read it, it's the N word, I'm not gonna say it. Oh, well I guess you need glasses. Have a good day. You too. Oh, Niagara. The worst she can say is no, bro. You got this. I got this. Thanks, man. Talk to you later. Hey, um, I was wondering if you wanted to go out with me. Get out of my house! How did you get it? Saying no was not the worst thing she could have said. You know what be cute? You and Craig. I mean, that shit sound kind of good. Ew, me and Craig? Hell no! Oh yeah, that shit's stupid. That shit nasty. When you and your siblings are supposed to be asleep. Yo. Beep la poop. Shut up, you're gonna wake up, mom! <laughs> Wait, I'm asleep!